Coach Knowles said yesterday the twos have to kick ass for the twos to earn more playing time. What does that mean to you? Uh, I mean, I think I just make the most out of every rep. So, uh, you know, Coach, he talks about it, the best players are going to play. You got to just make the most out of every rep, you know. Do you feel like you're doing that? Uh, yeah, I think I'm doing that. I'm getting hear, better every day. Sorry. When we hear kick ass with the twos, I think maybe immediately your head goes to something physical. Is it also mental? I mean, especially if you're talking about a position like adjuster where you have a lot of responsibility. Yeah, I think it's doing your job, you know, whether it's playing the deep third, whether it's you got to set the edge. So it could be a physical or mental thing. Just do your job. Uh, you know, if you can't do your job out here, uh, you can't expect them to put you out there to do your job in the big stage. How much do you want to show how unique you can be for this defense? Um, I, mean, I just want to show that I, I'm reliable and whatever you ask me to do, I can do it. How I, see, I see your pops here a lot. Is he coaching you after practice? I mean, I see him kind of, you guys walk through stuff, he, he puts his hands on, I mean, yeah, we, we, how does that help? Uh, we just talk ball a little bit. It's not much, you know. I, I got my coaches that I listen to, me and my pops, we just talk ball. Okay. Did it hurt you, the central loss? Is that tough? <laughs> a little bit. I feel, I think they, they had the team to win it. They should, I think they could have won, but. Uh, I think as a safety room, we all push each other. You know, it's the it's the power of the unit. That's what we like to say. So we all push each other to be the best version, versions of ourselves. How much do you try to pride yourself on learning just more than one position, or not just being maybe a bandit, but also trying to be able to play all three? I mean, um, right now I'm trying to just do in two positions. You know, just trying to uh, get good at one thing. You know, not try to be great at just be okay at everything. I want to be good at one thing. You know, whatever coach he puts in front of me, I focus on that. I mean, where are you at just in terms of being here? I know you reclassified last year, you came in as a younger guy, but how do you feel now just culture-wise, maturity-wise? Like, like where are you at? Uh, I think I'm really glad that I reclassed. Uh, I think it gave me some confidence, uh, gave me some maturity, and uh, I feel like, like I'm in a really good place right now. I think spring feel a lot different than last year did just because? So, yeah, last year I came in the summer, so I didn't have a spring, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel pretty good right now. I feel like I'm in a good place. You know, just got to keep working. Was there ever a point in the, in the in the season last year, Sonny, where you were thinking, did you second guess it at all? That, man, uh, I could be a baller with my buddy still. Uh, no, I never second guessed it. I, I, I knew why I came here early. I came here early to get better. You know, I feel like coming here, I was going to get better every day. I was going to go to the best every day. Yeah. And uh, I actually got a chance to play. I mean, I came here expecting to just get better. If I get a chance to play, I get a chance to play. Uh, I, I expect to get on special teams and go hard and do something for my team, play that role. Yeah. So. And what was it? What was it? If you look back on, what was the biggest benefit? Obviously, it's getting to play some was one, but do, do you feel bigger and stronger? I mean, you know, what, compared to a year ago, what what, what yeah. is that physical sense? Yeah, I definitely feel bigger and stronger. You know, I, I, I didn't gain too much weight, but I definitely feel uh, stronger. But I think the big thing was the mental part of it. You know, being able to get comfortable with the playbook, where I'm able to tell other people what they're doing. You know, stuff like that. So yeah. it's a, that gives me a lot of confidence. And then obviously just that playing time, like you said, that does build confidence as well. Yeah, you have to believe that you've been here now less than a year. Uh, a little bit. It flew by a little bit, but yeah. We talked to uh, Felix, I mean, just learning how to adjust to expectations and not putting too much on yourself right away. How often do you try to find yourself checking yourself? Because you have expectations of yourself, but you also have this home nine months and Margaret's come a few times here. Uh, I think the expectation for myself is uh, just to be the best version of myself every day. You know, don't, like Coach E talks to me about, you know, just have tunnel vision. You know, don't listen to too many people over here, listen to too many people over here. Just come out here and do do your job and go hard and just be the best version of yourself every single day. Did your dad kind of prep you for what you're about to get yourself into as far as playing football at The Ohio State University? Uh, I mean, yeah, I think he prepped me and my brother my whole life for just being a football player, you know, what that takes. So I think that was a blessing to have him in my life and uh, definitely an advantage. But I mean, did he kind of prep you like, okay, you know, when you go play football for Ohio State, like, this is what you can expect. There's going to be a bunch of reporters standing around you and then this and that. Just not just the playing aspect, but just the entire culture. Of yeah, he, yeah, he definitely pre prepared me for that. You know, you know, this is the Ohio State, like you said, and uh, it's a lot of a lot of cameras around all the time. So yeah, he definitely uh, notified me of that. <laughs> Who else in the safety room really impresses you right now? I know you're going to say everybody, but like, is there anybody in particular, like some attribute they have, some skill they have? I mean, I think everyone, everyone in the safety room got something to them. 
you know, some people might be a little different, but we're all the power of the unit. We all we're all ballers. <laughs> What's the thing that maybe pushes you the most? Like you're like, oh, I've still got I've still got a ways to go here. Um, I think seeing some of them guys at pro day, you know, I, I hope I can be there someday. So I think just trying to be the best version of myself every day. You know, I'm real cool with Paris. I like to talk to him a lot, pick at his mind, and just talk about how his mindset was. You know, I'm seeing him. He's about to go be a top 10 draft pick. It's crazy. So when you're seeing guys like that, it, make, it really motivates you. So, you know, one of us keeps spinning around, and the, 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 uh, I think a phrase that keeps coming up is, Sonny Styles got to be on the field somewhere <laughs> this year. Do, do you – are you feeling that too? I mean, are you feeling that you're making those kind of strides that uh, deserve playing time? Let's put it that way. Uh, I'm not gonna say I feel like anything. I, I think I just gotta. I just wanna work hard and prove that to the prove to the coaches that uh, I'm trustworthy. You know, I can yeah. do. I can do my job and uh, I'm capable of things. Yeah, and they're working you at that what that safety spot where the, you could be in the force of one minute and coverage the next. Right? How comfortable is that for you? What do you like about it? Uh, I think it works to my skill set. You know, I feel like I'm. A, I think it works to my skill set. I think I'm a big guy. I can move a little bit, so I think I'm more than capable of doing it. Could you see yourself playing that jack position? At, at some point uh, in, in this old defense? Uh, I don't know. I've never really, they didn't really talk to me about that. But yeah, I'm, <laughs> Kenny, you talked about it's kind of surreal to get playing time so quickly. That, you know, college football playoffs, you played more than 10 snaps. But what was that moment like? What did you take away from uh, You know, obviously it was a big moment, but uh, for me coming into, I just want to do my job. Uh, I think when you, when you make it simple like that, you don't let the moment get too big. What's the addition of Jihad been like so far? I mean, he's a great player. Yeah, so uh, I, I really like him. Yeah, they got him when he's playing nickel, you know, he's a, he's a really good player. Where do you feel you're more comfortable this year than you were last year? More comfortable? Yeah, just like where do you feel like you've improved the most? Where do you feel like you should be better? Um, I think being a, a almost like a leader on the field a little bit, you know, be able to tell guys that what they're doing, different stuff like that. You know, being comfortable with the playbook, knowing what I'm doing, and be able to know what everyone else is doing. I think I'm more comfortable. And I think that's why I was glad I came early and be able to know the playbook. How fast was stuff moving for you last year, like being on the field? Um, a little bit. I, I, I mean, I think I was ready for it. You know, that Wisconsin game, I didn't, I didn't think I was, I didn't know I was going to play that much. But uh, yeah, I think I, I kind of kept with me fast. But I was ready for it. I mean, that's why they had me out there. So number change. <laughs> Is that your decision? Did, you, did someone already ask for the Uh No, I, yeah, I, it was my decision, but I didn't really like, it's not like six or some special number. I just, oh, I, I picked the number. <laughs> just like draw numbers out of the hat or I something. I was like, yeah, that, that's all right. <laughs> I mean, I've been here so long, I covered your dad. Uh, and what, one of the things that stood out to me about him is how tough he was. Yeah. You know, has he been, I don't know, has he been instilling that in you and your brother for a while as you play this game? I mean, how's he a pr how has he approached that aspect of this game with you guys about knowing what to expect? Um, Just about the toughness factor. Yeah, I think our whole life, something that he talked about with, when it comes to the game of football, you know, n you know, never be out physical, you know, knowing where your help's at and using it, especially on defense and uh, playing smart, yeah. you know, and just seeing the field. That's what he taught me, you know, taught me a lot on defense and just doing your job. Yeah. That's a big thing. I know I keep saying it, but I think it's a big thing for me.